we are now in mathematics 4 mathematics 4 is as unit 1 to 7 and these are the what we have here direct and indirect proportion money finance and menstruation geometry algebra graph and functions statistics and probability trigonometry uh, but like what I've said earlier just to help you for the assignment let me just pick some questions now that you may have similar things in the in your assignment then we do it together let's pick some questions that can help you to do uh, that will help you to do your assignment without any problem let's pick some questions uh, I want to pick let's start from this one let's start from this part mm. let me pick some questions here This is a sequence, which is part of it. The first term and the fourth term. The first term and and the first term and fourth term of arithmetic sequence are 38 and 21 then we have to calculate one the common difference the one we call D the 2010 2010 then the last one the sum the sum the sum of the the sum of the first 20 tens let's look at this one let us do this one together. The question says the first yeah, the question says the first term and the fourth term of a arithmetic sequence are 38 and 21 and 21. Then we have to calculate the common difference, the 20 term, and the sum of the 20 term. So, if you are to go by this, if you are to go by this, the common difference, we are going to have a 36. Thirty-six. Sorry, it's thirty-six, not thirty-eight. Thirty-six here. It's thirty-six. The fourth term. Twenty-one. Because the question says the first term and the fourth term. So this is the first term. This is the fourth term. Let's bring in the formula. Formula, which is equal to a plus n minus 1 that is the number of the term then d the difference so the fourth term the fourth term equals to a plus into bracket 4 minus 1 into bracket d so 21 equals to 36 
D. 21 equals to 21 equals to 36 plus 3D. Then uh, we can divide both sides by 3D, which is uh, 21, 21, that is a 21, we can take the light times to make it faster, 21 minus 36 equals to 3D, 3D, which is equal to 15, equals 3d divided by 3d divided by 3 so our d equals to 5 if our d equals to 5 then we have to calculate what our d is, is 5 that, that one is done d equals to 5 then the sum of the the 28 term 28 term what is 28 term that will be t20 equals to 36 which is our uh, the, uh, the first term that is uh, our first term plus 20, which is our minus 1 into bracket minus 5 minus 5 which is equal to 2 30 minus then our 3, the sum the sum equals to n that is formula for sum then a a a plus one we close the bracket so we can just put it what is the it is a 20 over 2 into bracket 36 plus minus 59 so whatever we get here it will give us minus 230 then we get our answer so our common difference is five that's the how to the 28 term which is a 230 then the last one which is the sum also with uh, uh, the formula then the this one so that is what uh we need to talk about let's go further to our Let's go further here. Let's pick another question here that we know that is very, very important to us. Uh, let us look at this. this all this question will be help you to help you in your assignment. Look at this uh, inequality. Inequality. Then equals to what? Okay, let us look at this. Let's go for that. That one is very straightforward. Let's leave that one. But there are some questions. There are some questions. There are some questions that you will need to just apply. Just to apply in your own idea that can help you to solve the question. Let's go to this. Let's look at this. Uh, look at this question. Look at this question. Let's try this question, this angle to angle question. Look at this question. In the diagram. In the diagram. A B, C, and D. 
our point a point on a circle of center A of center O we are now saying angle AOB equals to 98 and angle DCB equals to 110 find the size of angle ADB give reason why so find the size we are asked to find the size find the size find the size of angle ADB that is one to give a reason why angle y angle DAB equals to 70 degree then 3 find the size of angle DAO Uh, in this case, you can answer this question without drawing the diagram according to what we were. The way it out, let's draw the diagram. We draw the diagram. Uh, diagram A, B, C, D. Make it to be D. So, for us to do this, we need to understand the angle in the opposite, the angle adjacent corresponding to each other. Those angles are very, very important because we need to know where exactly this angle belongs to. So, you can say, find the size of ADB, which is, you can easily say, angle ADB will be 98 degree, 98 degree, which is the half which is the half of that angle, which is a 49 degree, because of our time, which is 49 degree. Then, you will now say, why do we have, give the reason why angle DAB is 70. It is 70 because, because it is opposite to each other. Angle opposite the other are 180. So, since this is a 110, uh, is 70 degree, then it's opposite to each other. Then uh, DAB will be 110 degree. Then you are now asked find the size of an angle DAO, DAO, which is this one we are talking about. This one we are talking about. That will be 70 minus 41, which is equal to 29 degree. Those are just the guidelines for you in case you have something like that that can help you to do your assignment in case you are giving. Because uh, it, is, it, it, it is possible that uh, the angle can also be 
let's say in this form so it is possible then you are asked to calculate this to calculate this those are the guidelines you just need to have in your assignment uh, let me have one question more let me have one question more let's have one question more on mathematics 4 let's have this question more uh, this one is a bit straightforward it's a bit straightforward let's go to it's a bit straightforward Yeah, the, 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 the perimeter of a right angle triangle is 40. If one side is containing the right angle, it means I calculate the hypotenuse. Hypotenuse, yeah. So, if you are giving something like this, it's hypotenuse. This is a very straightforward something. If you are giving this part, you have to calculate that part. Those are very straightforward questions, which I don't think uh, uh, it will be a problem for you to do in the assignment. I don't think it will be a problem for you to do in the assignment. It's a very straightforward. Mm. It's a very straightforward. Uh, let's look at this. Why the this? Uh, Organize something. I think we can just just focus on what we have tried to say here. Uh, direct proportion, direct proportion, percentage like what we have in uh, mathematics for money, menstruation, menstruation. Sorry, uh, graph and functions. The graph and functions questions you have there, please, when you are submitting, you must submit with your graph paper. You know, it's an assignment now. Even if you don't have uh, graph paper, you have to provide graph paper for yourself. Then you attach it into, uh, into your uh, question. And again, this is what I've noticed in the assignment. There are some questions that in the process of sending it, uh, printing it for you, there could be some slight, uh, uh, some slight difference. Maybe the table are not orderly okay, the table is not fine. Please just give me a call or you send SMS to me, then I will tell you because by the time we send it to examination when they want to print out, there could be some slight, slant something in the question. So we need to correct it because if you don't correct it, it might give you the uh, what you don't really. Uh, it might give you a wrong answer. So just let me know so that I can quickly correct it. Then you can go on with it because we have a lot of dragon in mathematics four in the assignment, which can affect your calculation if it is not properly done. Uh, basically, we can't finish everything here. Uh, what I just believe is that. Mathematics is not something we can just discuss on phone. So when you are having problem with it in the assignment, please always contact me so that I can easily put you through where I want you to uh, correct it. Then from there we can correct. I can correct it for you. Then you can go ahead with it. The assignment is due for January next year, so you still have two three months with you. Please don't submit the assignment in a hurry. Make sure that you have tried your best. Then when you have a problem, then you call the tutor. Then I will come in, send it to my email. I will give you the guideline. I will give you the steps. Then I will send it back to you. Then you can have a very good mark for your assignment. So thank you. For any other thing you need me for, you know my email. Just contact me or on my phone. Contact me. Then I will solve the problem. Thank you.